walking miles from home on fetching clean drinking water has been quite a chore for these women and young girls living in the island nation of Madagascar in Africa. But things are about to get better. The arrival of rains has brought back hope. In this remote village in central Madagascar, the members of the local community have already started their ambitious project to rebuild the Tapia forest that once witnessed mass deforestation. Young ones too joined their parents in this noble cause. right on time. In the coming days, with sufficient rainfall, a complex ecosystem like this will be formed. In these forests, a diversity of species thrives, including one particular species of insect, which the locals call the living gold. It is Madagascar's wild silkworm. The local communities have set up their own indigenous laboratory to protect these species for the future generation. Here, the eggs develop into the silkworm larvae and caterpillars. Later, they are released into the tapia forest. Once the caterpillar becomes cocoon in the wild, the villagers collect them and by using their traditional methods and natural dyeing process, produce a fine variety of silk thread. The village women weave and weave the world's finest silk using traditional tools. The silk products are later sold in the local markets and to the tourists. They are able to make sufficient money to feed their family members. In the remote villages in the southeastern part of Madagascar, the local communities have identified other living gold. They use plant fibers along with natural dyes to make a range of products which they sell in the towns and cities to make a better living.
but not all people of Madagascar have adopted such techniques to coexist with the wild. This family, living in the last remaining patches of the tropical rainforest in the southeastern part of Madagascar, has a newborn baby to feed, just like their neighbors. In order to grow more food for their living, they have encroached the forest land. Species living in these forests are found nowhere else on earth and the ignorance of these farmers has put a diversity of species at risk of extinction. Across the tropical rainforest, farmers are seen encroaching the forest land and practicing slash and burn agricultural method, which is a primary cause for deforestation in Madagascar. It is a problem that resonates from the west to the east coast of Madagascar. Back in the tropical rainforest, one particular species of lemur is seen fighting for time, space and food, failing which these species will go extinct forever. They are the greater bamboo lemurs, one of the world's most critically endangered primates and victim of slash and burn farming. They feed almost exclusively on the bamboo shoots found in these tropical rainforests. They are so rare that only two of them, a father and his daughter, have managed to survive all the odds. They now live in isolation in their own homeland due to the uncontrolled human activities. These species are also forced to share its forest land with cattle. Considering the notion that a herd of cattle represents a walking bank account signifying the owner's wealth and respectability in the society, today more and more cattle are sold in the cattle market. They feed on the forest land and eventually causing depletion of vegetation which in turn leads to soil erosion and threaten the fragile ecosystem. And the odds don't stop here. These endangered species are caught from their wild habitat and later sold as pets. Though buying or selling these species is illegal, it continues to be a growing problem across the island nation. In southern Madagascar, radiator tortoises are almost wiped out from their natural habitat due to the illegal pet trade. 
these critically endangered species are smuggled in large numbers to towns and cities and also exported to other countries. In the past, due to human activities, 17 species of lemurs, along with the flightless elephant bird related to ostriches, have all gone extinct. Today, their remains are hung on the walls of hotels across the west coast to attract visitors from various countries. How tragic would it be if we lose these species from their natural habitat before we even understood them? But there is hope. Despite the lack of infrastructure, the children of Madagascar are showing great interest in redefining the history of their existence. Their curiosity and interest in acquiring knowledge about the environment they live in will make them better leaders and stand as nature warriors.